In this video, we'll be replacing the rear wiper arm on this 2007 Mazda CX-9. It's going to be the same for the first generation from 2007 to 2015. So what we're going to do is remove this cover in the back here. It's held in by two pins inward and a clip right inside here. So we're going to use a small pocket screwdriver just to push these two clips out or these two pins out. The goal is to push the pins out and lift up at the same time. And then we can lift up and away to get this cover off. Now here is the clip that's going to sit right inside here. And there are your two pins that sit into the arm itself. Then you can lift your arm. And the tabs that we're looking to get are right in here. So coming in from the wiper side, there's a little notch that you need to get out from underneath that tab right here. So we just came in, I'll do it again. Came in from the wiper side on the underside. Put a little flat blade screwdriver between the arm and the blade and pull your blade away or off of that tab. And then you can rotate your blade off of your arm. So here's that tab. And it was hitting right up against here. So now what we're going to do is remove our 10 millimeter nut holding on our wiper arm. Now that we have our nut off, we're going to try and wiggle and work our arm off of this stud. Now the stud is the one that rotates your arm. So it should be in a little keyed slot all the way around there. So we're just trying to remove, oh, there we go. Trying to remove it from that keyed stud. To install your new arm, the first thing you're going to need to do is remove the rear cover here. That'll allow you to get access to where your stud goes through and your nut's going to go. So we're going to pry the cover open and off. Again, we have two notches, one on each side where our pins went, and then a center tab that went right in here. So when you align your new wiper arm, you want to sit it back into the same position. All right? You don't want it to be up here. You don't want it to be down here. You want to sit it in the same position. You may have to open your arm slightly to press down to get it to sit on the keyed area on that stud. Once you have that located in the right position, we can go ahead and put our 10 millimeter nut back on. So we're gonna start our 10 millimeter nut by hand. I'm gonna keep our arm pressed down into the position we need it to be in. We're gonna tighten down this nut. Okay, we're going to try and move our arm, and it's going to give you a little bit of movement, but it shouldn't go up and it shouldn't go all the way down anymore. It should be locked into that stud. If that looks good, then we can move on to installing the rear cover in the blade. So now what we're going to do is we're going to open up our arm. We're going to take our new blade, and you'll notice that there is a cutout on the blade that's going to match the arm. So we're going to take our blade, we're going to take the pole of the blade and put it into the cutout here. I'm going to push in until it clicks in, and then we're going to rotate the blade down or into the arm until it clicks this tab into position. From there, we should be able to rotate our blade without it coming off. I'm going to give it a little tug out, make sure it doesn't come off, everything's good. We can go ahead and lower our arm and blade, and then we can put our cover on.
when only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.